here's an update. We're starting with Bo today. Um, they're all doing really well. Um, good in the kennel. I'm real pleased with how they're adjusting to that. Everybody's eating um, fairly clean. Couple of little accidents inside um, and quiet for the most part. Um, really the only time that there's any barking, it seems like Gracie right there barks when I take either of the boys out. So um, here's Bo. He's very distracted by the um, Gracie barking. He seems to be very bonded. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to do a little bit of leash work here. You'll see how he's doing. And then I'm going to introduce place live. That's going to be happening. Um, I'm going to I'll be seeing the same thing that you're seeing and um, should be able to introduce the remote collar today on place. So let's see how he does. Come on, Bo. Good boy. Good. If I move back towards these guys, he's looking right away, very uh, interested and would like to get back that way. loses a lot of focus on me. Heel. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Good. He normally sits a little better than that, too, but he is distracted by her. All right. Come on, Bo. Come on, Bo. So what I want him to do is to learn how to stay on this dog bed. Place. Good. And again, he's very distracted. Good boy. Good. Place. That's a good boy. Place. Good boy. Yeah, there you go. Nope. Good. Place. Good boy. Place. Good boy. So I'm just taking a few little treats here. Place. Teaching him that this is a, a location that I want him to stay on. Good job. Good boy. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Bo. Good boy. Place. That's it. Good. I'd like him to start with a sit. Eventually he's going to do this with a down. Good. Place. Good. Good boy. Place. Good. Place. Very good. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Place. Excellent. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Okay. Good. All right. So now I'm going to start adding in some distraction. Place. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Place. Excellent. Good. So I want him to stay on the bed. I'm going to move around a little bit. I'm just using the leash for this. <clears throat> Have him start to understand that he stays on the dog bed. Nope. Place. Good. Place. Sit. Good. Place. Good. Good. This becomes an impulse control exercise. Good. Good boy. That's it. Good boy. Place. Very good. Place. 
Excellent. Good boy. That's right. Good boy. Good boy. Very good. Very good. Yeah, boy. Good place. Good boy. Good. So I'm going to drop my leash, move away from him a little bit, get a little more distance. Really just looking for him to recognize that he needs to stay put. Good boy. This is going to become a 30 minute long exercise, so he's going to start. Uh, today I'll try and do five to ten minutes depending on how well he proceeds here so far it's going very well um, and then hopefully within a couple of sessions he's doing 30 continuous minutes um, at some point in the training process they will all three be out here place good boy all three be out here um, doing place at the same time learning to um, deal with distraction so this is going great. I'm very pleased about this. Um, I was just looking at my collar, make sure I'm at the right level. I haven't used it yet. Good boy. Good boy. What a good boy. It's okay that he stood up after having him say, good job, that boy, good boy. It's quite all right for him to stand up. I'd like him to start with a sit or a down. And then I will move that, or uh, I allow them to move from that. Beautiful. Good boy. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good place. Good boy. I just want to reward this. He's doing exactly what I want him to do. And he's letting me sit in the chair and not come running to me. That's fantastic. Good boy. Beautiful. All right, good job. So if he continues to do this well today in this session, I'm not going to introduce my collar. I'll just introduce it in another uh, time and place. Um, oh, very good. All right, so this is on a five. And I'm applying a little bit of collar pressure here. This is why we have the leash. Place. That's it. Good boy. Good. Good. Sit. Good boy. Place. So I held that button down the whole time he was off. You can see that it's not upsetting to him. What he's getting is a tiny little tingle. <clears throat> I can't feel it actually at this level. I can't feel it till it's around a 10. Um, this collar goes to 100. So 5 is super low. And all I'm trying to do is give him that little tingle, and then he starts to say, oh, what happens when I feel that tingle? How do I turn that off? Run, get back on the dog bed. And then we start applying that to other things in our training process. But uh, that was a good response. Good boy. Fantastic. Good boy. Yes, good boy. Very good, Bo. Place. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, good job. So this is going great. Really, really pleased with him. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Move around him a little bit more. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna turn my camera off. You get the idea here. He's doing super. Um, just so that you can see, this collar is set to a five. And I am using the black button here, which is just the regular level. And um, I'm real pleased with this. So uh, I'm probably gonna do 10 minutes on place here today. And then uh, within two days, he'll be up to 30 minutes. And then he'll start doing group place with his peeps. But I'm very pleased with where he is.